Hi, I'm Jacqueline Ward, and today on Tongue Tie Tuesday, we will talk about the larynx, where it is positioned, and how it moves in the presence of a tongue tie. Singers are obsessed with the larynx. The larynx would have to be in the top three of focal points in basic singing training, the other two being breath support and a relaxed jaw. But when you get to high level training, guess what? Still a favorite. The larynx is attached to the hyoid bone, which is a floating bone. Generally speaking, singers aim to have a wide open larynx that sits low and relaxed. Because it floats amongst muscular attachments and is not directly connected to the skeleton, it is very susceptible to follow whatever the muscles dictate. When the tongue is restricted, the hyoglossus, genohyoid, and myohyoid muscles can be put under tension. These all run from the tongue and mandible to the hyoid bone. When these three muscles are hypertoned, they actually pull upward on the larynx. But if a singer wants to have a low larynx, how do they achieve that? By pushing it down with the root of the tongue, i.e. genioglossus, causing the very evil tongue root tension. Depending on the type of tongue tie and the severity of compensations, there will often be a forward head posture with shortening of the strap or collar muscles in the front of the neck, notably the stylohyoid. So the larynx is now surrounded by tension from above and around the sides. But what about below? I'm so glad you asked. In normal anatomy, when we breathe in and the lungs reach peak volume, there is a phenomenon called downward tracheal pull. So there is actually a natural relationship between the lower airway and the larynx position. Unfortunately, singers with tongue tie may miss out on that benefit. And with the larynx being pulled upward, they may actually experience tension in the lungs and chest structures. Well, what happens to the larynx then when it is pulled from above and from below? The larynx sits high and forward shortening the vocal tract and limiting resonance. In addition, we can now see inefficiencies in breathing caused by a cascade of tension. Sometime we'll talk about the narrowing of the vocal tract, but this seems like a great segue into how, travel, uh, into how tension travels through the body via muscle chains, the fascial network, and nerve tension. When a tongue tie is properly treated, this problem can immediately resolve and some ongoing focus on changing those muscle patterns can help going forward. Thanks for joining me, Jacqueline Ward Soprano and Tongue Tie Freak. Join me again for the next Tongue Tie Tuesday. Tell your friends.